new editions would be treated as as good as a new version of the old book and hence the editor will be the author of that new edition. A law report though would have to be attributed a literary work status only for the reporting done by that particular reporter but the judicial decision captured within the law report belongs to the government. Judicial decisions however would be attributed copyright protection only to the government. It would not go back to the reporter. Interestingly, an extemporary speech or a lecture would have a different standing. Before the 1994 Copyright Amendment Act, extemporary speech as such was not really considered literary work. But now, after the amendment, a new right known as performer's right is actually a der derivative right of a copyright has been created which now affords protection to a person who delivers an extemporary speech. So just as I am making a presentation before you and if you take notes of my presentation I would still retain the performer's rights to my extemporary discussion with you. Next we go on to discuss titles, names, short phrases and slogans. Not considered literary work for a simple reason because they cannot be copyright in such abstract phrases. In, in the given situation that such titles, names or short phrases are given copyright, then in that sense those words will have to be usurped from the public domain for a period of life plus 60 years and therefore the public will not be able to use such words for that longish period of time. Copyright law does not intend to do that. Hence, it was held that news as such where the facts are reported by the newsreader or the channel are not supposed to be owners of copyrightable matter. Facts are not copyrighted. What the news channels are given are essentially broadcasting rights, not copyright. Similarly, invented words would constitute trademark protection and not copyright law protection because words are excluded from subject matter requirement. That having said, let's go and understand what does dramatic work mean. Section 2H of the Indian Copyright Act includes any piece of recitation, choreographic work or entertainment in dumb show and scenic arrangement or acting, form of which is fixed in writing or otherwise. What is mentioned though is it does not include cinematographic films. Dramatic works as such just require a written script for such drama and the protection is afforded essentially to the dramatic incidents of those dramas. But a cinematographic film which is cinema, is not protected within dramatic work in the Indian copyright law. Cases worth describing within dramatic works would be Tate versus Fulbrook, where scenic effects taken by themselves and apart from the words and incidents of the piece are not held to be the subject of copyright law. Norwazin versus Arcs is an English case where dramatic work must be capable of being performed to include performances by artificial means such as playing of a film. An Indian case worth mentioning is Fortune Films International versus Devanand, where it was held that the motion picture cannot be described as a dramatic work. So Indian law as such still holds dramatic work different from cinematographic works. And finally, Green versus Broadcasting Corporation of New Zealand is one case which describes TV formats. TV formats are typical, typically new inventive TV programs where the dramatic work must have sufficient unity to be capable of performance and this was lacking in a dramatic format such as Opportunity in Ox. So an Indian version of Khan Banega Karupati would have a similar reasoning where TV format will not be attributed copyrightable protection for the simple reason it does not constitute dramatic work because it has to be a scripted written format and if a TV format is supposed to be reality TV, it cannot be a scripted format in that sense. Furthermore, let's understand what is musical work. Musical work is described within Section 2P of the Act and it means that a work consisting of music and includes any graphic notation of such work but does not include any of the words or action intended to be sung, spoken or performed with the music. Essentially, what it requires is a written annotation. No musical work can be protected without a written notational re uh, requirement to satisfy a musical piece. A new definition is included to cover all forms of music, irrespective of it being fixed, though. 
So what is worth pondering here is if a dramatic work may include music, then will this music be entitled to be a separate copyright and notwithstanding that the music also forms an integral part of the dramatic work. For example, a Bollywood film has music pieces and music albums. So does a Bollywood film then constitute a cinematographic work as well as a musical work? Or do they have separate rights? It's worth thinking. Let's go on to understand what artistic works are and we will answer those questions later. Artistic works are described within section 2C of the Act and they describe a painting, a drawing, which includes a diagram, map, chart or a plan, an engraving or a photograph, whether or not any such work possesses artistic quality. So there is an analogy here. Similar to the literary work where we did not require any literary merit, in case of artistic work, no artistic quality is required. All that is required for copyrightable subject matter is originality, that is, this artistic work must originate from the original author of that art, that is, the artist himself. To be protectable, it should be an artistic work and should be original as defined within the act. A sculpture, though, is a work of artistic craftsmanship, and so it requires to originate from the sculptor. Similarly, a drawing would include any diagram, chart, map or plan, so all architectural works must have those plans which will then constitute artistic works within the meaning of Section 2C of the Indian Copyright Act. Interesting study is that of photographs. Photographs as such are included as include any photolithograph or any work produced by any process analogous to photography. What would then constitute a photographic work as an artistic work? Say for example, a public domain scenery has been captured by a photographer and a painting is reproduced of that photograph. Who then has the right to such painting? The photographer, the person who painted it. So whether it is an artistic work or whether it is a photographic work, that is whether it can be described within the artistic work of Section 2C is worth understanding. 